What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon and uh, glad to have you here in this video in which I wanted to take a quick look at ApeCoin. Uh, main reason for it being that we have quite a bullish day and in bullish days I always uh, pick the cryptos which I think are the most interesting. So those are cryptos that um, for example have high volume or that have uh, great gains in the last 24 hours but ApeCoin is just I mean obviously ApeCoin has always had great volume but apart from that it also has a huge community and a big community on this channel um, so I thought it would be interesting to take a look at what ApeCoin does and when I checked out the chart it is actually quite interesting because obviously ApeCoin uh, together with, with other cryptos such as Solana and Cardano had, had this bearish breakout the 26th uh, at this bearish breakout, an ApeCoin dropped down to $6, which held. Uh, I thought that would hold as well, but yeah, so we held that. Um, but what ha what, what's happening in uh, like the last, I don't know, the last 12, last 16 hours uh, throughout the crypto crypto sphere, I mean, it's, it's quite bullish, as I said. What's happening is that, that the other cryptos, such as Cardano and, and Solana and stuff, are actually getting back above these levels, getting back above this previously resistance and that it's now uh, support. Uh, but ApeCoin is actually lacking behind quite a bit. I mean, as you can see, we, we, we rejected off of this 7.15 level, which in itself, it, I mean, it, it, it's a valid resistance level, but I would have thought that ApeCoin would actually have enough momentum to uh, get higher than this too. And it doesn't look like that's the case. So. I'm pretty, I'm, just to be honest with you, I'm pretty worried about ApeCoin. There, there's one thing that could actually relieve that. And, and the main thing we need to do with ApeCoin is close above $7.5. So do I think that's still possible? Yes, but we wouldn't need to keep this bullish momentum uh, throughout the crypto market. So with that, I mean that Bitcoin really needs to stay around that 30,500 level. Uh, and preferably Bitcoin would need to have a breakout. So break out of 31,000 and then the next levels are somewhere around 32, 32 and a half thousand. I did a video on Bitcoin as well, if, if you wanna know about that breakout. But if that happens, then I think something like this will inevitably happen as well for ApeCoin. But then ApeCoin is just lagging behind a little bit, it seems. Um, but if that does not happen, and that's, I mean, that's that's, Th that's equally likely too. I mean, if you compare like Bitcoin, the level we're at right now was a big resistance throughout the last half a month. Uh, so it could also very well be that Bitcoin actually starts to drop down under 30,000 again today. Uh, and if that happens, it could very well be with ApeCoin that, that will just consolidate down here, which would be, uh, well, quite bad, I'd say, because where other cryptos actually recovered a bit, then ApeCoin is still down here with a, with a big resistance level up there, uh, preventing it, pre preventing it from, from having some sort of, so, some sort of bullish momentum. So, um, it's really just waiting for now that 7.5 level is actually the most important level. And apart from that, just generally the, the momentum throughout the market. So, um, I'll probably post an update on it tomorrow. See what happened. See what I, if, if I can get a more clear bias than this, excuse me for that, but um, that's just how it is. So um, that's basically my analysis and my thoughts on ApeCoin for now. If you uh, found the video valuable, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, for now though, and, and the most important thing, thank you all for watching and listening. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.